Will a Tesla kill a cat? Now to find out, I'm gonna drive this Model 3 at Tiddles here and see if the car will squish the cat. Why the heck am I doing this bizarre experiment? Well, it's because in the UK, a lot of people believe that while you should perform an emergency stop to prevent you crashing into a vehicle, a pedestrian, a cyclist, or a large animal, you shouldn't do one for a cat because, well, a cat won't do that much damage to your car. And if you perform an emergency stop, you could actually cause an accident yourself. So what I'm going to do is be testing out the auto emergency braking system on this Tesla to see exactly what it's designed to recognize. So I'm going to drive at various obstacles, including a pedestrian, which in this case will be the car's creator, Elon, Elon Musk. Will the Tesla kill Elon? Well, we're going to find out. And is it going to kill old Tiddles here? So I'm driving on a city course. This is in a closed off-road environment, but it's designed to simulate an urban environment. So I'm just driving along in my Tesla Model 3, doing between 20 and 30 miles an hour. I say my Model 3, it's actually my mother's, and she doesn't actually know I'm doing this with her car, and that's why I'm about to try to crash it into some things. And the first thing that I'm gonna try and crash it into is another car, though actually it's not another car as such. It's a big spongy replica of another car so that if the Tesla safety systems don't work, I won't do too much damage to my mother's car while trying to make a video for you. So this Tesla Model 3, it has some cameras up there which are looking at the road ahead and it's got a radar behind the front bumper which is also scanning the road ahead. And then it's got the clever computer system which can spot various things and understand what the obstacles are. And if it spots something that it thinks is another car and it thinks I'm gonna crash into it, it should automatically apply the brakes to prevent that happening. Will it though? We're gonna find out. Imagine then that I'm just an ignoramus and I'm not paying attention to the road ahead and I'm just driving. Oh yes, yes, yes. This is scary, this is scary, this is scary. Oh my God. That definitely worked. So I got the audible warning saying, wake up you idiot, look what's ahead of you. And then when I did nothing, the car just braked very hard actually, really good, really impressive. And there's still a good distance between me and the car in front. Now it's all well and good doing this to a Tesla, but Teslas are well known for their safety systems, but so is another company. Obviously, I've jumped into a Volvo because Volvos are famous for car safety. Now it's actually a V90 and what I'm gonna do is the same test that I did with the Tesla. Will the Volvo stop? I mean, it's supposed to, it's got a similar camera and radar technology as the Model 3, but we shall see and we shall see how it compares to the Model 3 in terms of its ability to spot objects and brake for them as I try to crash into different things. But here comes the car. Oh, right. It stopped, obviously. It actually seemed to pick it up a little bit later. There was no actual warning other than basically that beeping that you heard. And then as soon as that noise was made, the car was on the brakes and it left the braking later, I think, than the Tesla. Not by much, but I'm definitely closer to that car in front. Also, what I didn't feel in the Tesla, but I did notice in this, is that the seatbelt pulled me in to keep me nice and snug in my seat to prevent me like flopping forward. So that was good. Ultimately, once again, I didn't crash into the obstacle. Let's give these vehicles a slightly tougher test rather than driving into the back of a car. How about if we try to drive into someone? This Volvo safety systems aren't just set up to spot cars and vehicles and things like that, big objects. They're also designed to spot people so you don't knock over pedestrians. So I'm actually gonna to drive towards a pedestrian, but obviously we can't use a real person. We are using a cutout figure, and this is where Elon comes in. Will the Volvo knock our cardboard Elon over? Speed between 20 and 30 miles an hour. Oh look, there's Elon crossing the road. I haven't seen him though. Oh! But the Volvo did, thank God for Elon. Though I was half expecting this car to just crash through Elon because obviously Volvo's owned by Geely and it'd be rather handy for Geely to take out the competition. But no, Volvo, it's all about safety. Even though it's <laughs> their main competition in the middle of the road, it still won't crash into it. But will the Tesla? It'd be rather embarrassing if the Tesla actually kills its creator whereas the Volvo didn't kill its competition. Let's do it. Okay, then I'm back in the Tesla. Come on, Model 3, you can't let yourself down now. It'd be super embarrassing if you do crash into Elon. Don't kill him. 
Here we go. Oh, not paying attention. There's Elon. Oh, ow. this definitely stopped further away. It really did. And look, you can see on the screen, I like the way that it displays what it's spotting. So it saw Elon now he's moving out the way and you can see our crew as well who are working hard trying to keep <laughs> our cardboard cut out standing in the right position because it's really, really windy. Do you know what? I do wish that the Tesla like pulled you into your seat because you notice on the brakes then my headlight was ricocheting off the head restraint there. But he did a good job at stopping and Elon's perfectly fine. So he can go ahead and, you know, increase the Tesla share price even further now. Let's try and crash into something else, though. Elon Musk has gone on record to say that the Tesla safety system can spot certain large animals. I don't have any available today, but I do have a medium sized animal, one that's applicable to <laughs> our Australian viewers, because it is a kangaroo. And it looks like the Tesla spotted the kangaroo, although it seems that it's identifying it as a human. Either way, kangaroo lives and my mum's Tesla hasn't been damaged, so that's good. But will the Volvo be able to spot old Roo over there? Now, Volvo does a safety system which can spot larger animals, but it actually is designed to work at higher speeds for when you're driving Sweden, Scandinavian countries, and there's like moose and stuff like that about. So you don't want to hit one of those when you're going quickly because it could cause a massive accident. So will they see the little kangaroo? Come on, are you going to kill Skippy? Skip's dead. Poor Skip. A bit choked up about it. I think I just cut. Okay, so maybe the kangaroo was the wrong kind of animal. Maybe the Volvo will be able to spot a dog. They don't make any claims of being able to, but let's just try it anyway by driving at this black Labrador. Go on, brake! That's a dead dog. Yeah, the dog's dead as well. The vegans aren't going to like me today. Oh well. Okay, I'm back in the Tesla. Let's see if the Tesla will spot the black Labrador, which is actually just a cuddly toy. And this might be one of the reasons why the Volvo didn't spot it, because if you think about the density of a human being or an animal, you've got bone, which is dense. You've got obviously tissue and all that kind of stuff. Whereas what I'm driving into is just some fabric and some stuffing. While the manufacturers don't claim that their systems are designed to stop for animals, they could still do in practice. Basically what I'm saying is this is not the most scientific test in the world, but then I'm not the most scientific person either. Although I did do kind of degree, so semi-science. Let's see if this will stop for the dog. Here's the dog. I'm just gonna drive along city speeds. La 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 I hope I didn't damage your car, Mum. The Tesla didn't spot the dog. Maybe I do need the thing that I'm driving at to be more realistic. Maybe it needs to actually be the real thing or as close to it as possible. Let's just do one last test. What I'm going to do now is drive this Tesla Model 3 at a cat, a real cat. Obviously, it's not a live cat because that would be hugely cruel and I'd end up in prison and rightly so. But it's a taxidermy cat. It's as real a cat that I can use for this test as I can possibly get. So here we go. I'm going to drive at the cat. Will a Tesla kill a cat? Let's find out now. Oh, yes. A Tesla will kill a cat. I feel particularly bad about that because, um, first of all, that once was someone's beloved animal. They loved it so much that they had it stuffed. And now I've killed it again. So that cat has used up 10 lives. I'm also a bit annoyed because it was rather expensive and I damaged it. It was like 700 pounds and I was actually going to keep it as a pet that's very easy to look after. Anyway, one last thing to test. I'd like to introduce you to my new best friend, Elon here. You right, Elon? Yeah, yeah, all right, I'm right here. I don't know why he's talking about that. Anyway, Elon, um, you know what? It must be great being the richest man in the world. It's quite an accolade. You must be really proud of your achievements. The only thing is, I think Jeff Bezos could quite soon be the richest man in the world yet again. And I think Tesla shares will go down a little bit because there's ultimately a bit more value in Amazon. Sorry, listen, I'm not going to lie to you. We're friends, right? You want me to be truthful? It's just the way it is. 
So wouldn't it be good if we could sort of take Jeff out of the equation? Then you wouldn't have any competition, really, would you? If only we could somehow take him out. Oh look, there's Jeff Bezos just crossing the road. Let's just crash into him. Or will the Tesla stop us? Oh no. Right, what we're gonna do is reverse up quickly. He hasn't realized what's happening. It auto brakes. Maybe I can accelerate through him. So will the car let me actually? Oh, it tried to brake even though it was accelerating, but yes, it did the right thing for us, Elon. It let us kill Jeff. Ha <laughs> ha. Actually, that was a real test. And I know I'm just messing around here. What that was to show you was that you can override these systems. What happened then was that as I was accelerating, the car saw that there was a pedestrian in the road. It did the warning, applied the brake, but then it sensed that I kept on pushing through the accelerator because I wanted to take out Jeff. It allows you, the human, to always override the system and you need that because the computer may make a wrong choice and it may be safer to accelerate through the obstacle and it may also be safer for you to retain your position as the world's richest man.